This is a battle of resurrection versus resiliency, of king versus primarch, of god slayers versus a god's champion. This is 40k in 40 minutes. I am your host, Space Marine Steve, and in this battle, there is not a single loyalist Space Marine around. It makes me so sad, but you will get a fully unbiased and totally on the level, smart and kind of sexy commentary from yours truly. Child of Chaos, Tycho brings his fast moving and hard hitting death guard against Michael and the notorious Necron death machine itself, Watson. I'm glad to be back. Uh, really looking forward to this uh, rematch, rematch for our championship title. I'm gonna steal it. Michael is trying something new in this game, giving his Necrons an extra three inches to their ranged weapons, as well as making everything objective secured. I think this is gonna do pretty well in Tempest of War, actually. This time I got a plan. I got a plan. I left the Lich Guard at home. That's my plan. He has two characters, a Technomancer and a Chronomancer, equipped with the Veil of Darkness relic. His patrol also includes two large squads of warriors with Goss Reapers, a large squad of Scarab Swarms, a Ghost Arc to buff those Necron Warriors, a Canoptic Reanimator to buff yet again those Necron Warriors, and of course the Silent King to buff those Necron Warriors. The damage dealers in his list are definitely going to be the Locust Heavy Destroyers, the Scorback Destroyers, and the legendary Death Ray of Mass Destruction, Watson. Look for the Doomsday Arc and the Silent King to put in work this time around and try and get around the Death Guard's disgusting resiliency and armor of contempt with their high AP and incredibly high damage. So Tycho is going to be piloting the Death Guard and they're a, a match that Necrons typically have a bit of an uphill fight into. We don't have a lot of reliable high damage weapons. We, we have some that are swingy and I know I got in trouble for this before, but we don't have good anti-tank weapons. Internet. Internet. I am tougher than ever. All of a sudden my armor is going to matter more. Any layering of defenses is multiplicative rather than additive. So I really feel like it's going to be a really big boon, especially for my tough Death Guard models. The Death Guard are led by Mortarian, a super tough Primarch. Tycho also brought a Demon Prince with a separating plate. Death Shroud Terminators with an extra relic, the Reaper of Glorious Entropy. Spawn, who have been blessed as the Grandfather's Chosen. Michael's favorite unit ever, Poxwalkers. Two Plague Burst Crawlers and loads and loads and loads of drones. Look at those things. Mortarian is a missile of doom. You have to deal with Mortarian one way or another. This list only starts with seven command points, but that is Nurgle's sacred number. So I wonder if Tycho planned it that way or if it was just kind of a coincidence. In this Tempest of War engagement, the primary mission is take and hold, which is pretty straightforward. Control one objective for five points, control two or more objectives for five points, and control more than your opponent for five points. The mission rule is sweep and clear. If a player controls an objective and the unit in range of it has the objective secured rule, they can move off of it and still control it. This is actually a really big deal and I'm excited to see how this impacts the game. They can lose control of the objective once an enemy unit takes control of it in any subsequent phase. Secondaries are randomly generated from a deck of cards. Players generate these secondaries in their command phase and must have three secondaries to attempt to score each turn. Secondaries are worth five points each, unless otherwise stated on the card. Let's see what happens. Let's get to deployment. Well, good luck, sir. Good luck. <laughs> it's a big old one. I knew four. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Michael is hiding a majority of his forces, and with that kind of deployment, my guess is that he wants to go second.
Both players have heavy hitting combat units in Scorprite Destroyers and Death Shroud Terminators in reserves. This is a perfect time to tell you all about the game's sponsor, which is GameMat.eu. The train, the Necrons are going to be taking cover behind, and the other structures, crates, and craters are all from GameMat.eu. One of the best parts is that they are all pre-painted, so it is all ready to go right out of the box. If you want to play on mats just like we do and build immersive tabletop experiences just like this one, check out GameMat.eu and take a look at their awesome catalog. Let's do this. Let's I'm do this. super excited I'm for excited Turn too. 1, Episode 10, Season 4. It's, it's really like come a long way on this. Uh, season 4? You look back and you're like, wow. Wow. I had short hair back then. Holy <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> I didn't have a beard when I first shot. Wow. Yeah. Michael rules the highest and we'll have to go first. Let's get this going. It's not ideal. I kind of was hoping that he would approach me. That way I can react to him. I have a lot of shots that unfortunately I'm going to waste turn one. Just very short range. Three inches normally can get it done, but not, not that far. Michael draws a tempting target, grind them down, and battlefield supremacy. From attempting target, Tycho will have to choose an objective in No Man's Land for Michael to go and get. If Michael holds it at the end of his turn, he scores the points. Grind them down requires Michael to kill more units than Tycho and is scored at the end of the opponent's next turn. If not achieved, the secondary is discarded. And last is Battlefield Supremacy, scoring by holding three objectives and more than your opponent. Michael has given the big warrior squad out in the open a lot of buffs. My will be done for plus one to hit, Chromatron for five plus invulnerable, and Nano Scarab reanimation for plus one to reanimation protocols. So he, they get up on fours now. They get up on fours, re-rolling ones. Scarabs are doing what scarabs do best. Scarabing. Those lawnmowers of doom are fast and fetid, so Michael needs to be super careful on how he moves forward here. Uh, anything else? Nope, that is it. Let's go to the shooting phase. The Tomb Blades are gonna put their shots into this fella over here. Oh. I take three, oh my. I am gonna spend two command points right away though. Michael spends two CP on extermination protocols so he can re-roll the room uh, Hitting on Twos. <laughs> and we start off I'm strong. <laughs> and then we pick these up and re-roll them because I'm a destroyer and I oh. hate you. And I hit all. Three. Oh, thanks. Pretty good. And do you make take them one. all? No, you take one. Okay, 3d3 minus one damage. Turns into three, four, five, goes down to four. Watson is going to put his shots into um, the same Plague Burst Crawler. Big gun. I'm gonna reroll one of these with one command point, which translates into a third one. Make one. All right, well, I bracket you with four damage. Can't Down complain. to four wounds left on the Plague uh, Yeah, we're gonna put both men here into that same target. Oh, Sorry, right. but I gotta. And the tank lives! Holy crap, the tank lives! While the Necrons were unable to kill anything for grinding them down, with three objectives, he takes Battlefield Supremacy, and with those scarabs, doing all the scarabing that they can, he also scores a tempting target. 10 points is a great star, Michael. I got lucky, straight up. My saves were impeccable, and I still have two Plague Burst Crawlers because of it. Death Guard go up to seven command points. Mortarian gives himself the full rerolls to hit. Yeah, and Tygo pulls his secondary deck. No retreat, no surrender. Deploy, teleport, homer, and investigate sites. For no retreat, no surrender, he scores five points for not failing morale, falling back, or moving off an objective that he already has. This is scored at the end of his opponent's next turn. For teleport homer, he must perform an action in Michael's deployment zone to score. <laughs> oh, Tycho. This is not oh, a great opening draw. Tycho. It is a tough draw for Tycho, and he elects to use a precious command point on new orders so he can discard investigate sites. He then pulls grind them down. I don't feel good about it, but it's, it's what I have available to me.
Tycho probably wanted to move that drone and Demon Prince, but as they're on an objective currently, doing so loses him five whole points. Tycho drew a card, no treat, no surrender, and that's really changed his game plan up, which is part of what's really fun about this game system. But that just means that all of his one flank is advanced and his other flank is hanging tight. That gives me some time to kind of concentrate some firepower and whittle down the left side before the right side advances. Mortarian wanted to be minus one to hit, but he is denied by the Silent King. Denied. Spiked down. Uh, and then he'll smite. Smit. You get it. Left. Two. So he'll fire everything into the locusts. Okay. And guy number two. Pretty hot. Uh, nope. So guy in cover dies. The mortar. Okay. Oh, I make one of them. So one more drop. I'll try and bring him back. Four dice. Nope. Let's do the uh, this drone. We're just gonna take on two blades. Dirt. One. Yep. There we go. And the cannon. Ooh, I make one. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm down to two with one wound. Yeah. Second grader blow drone kills another two blade and then comes close to killing that last remaining destroyer. Down to two. Bortarian is throwing his Phosphex bombs at the Scarab Swarms, trying to take them out. You're going to ice one base, ice another base, one base down to one wound remaining. You get one base back. I couldn't take down the Destroyer. One wound is very frustrating. I was so close to getting it getting rid of one of his most powerful units. Just one destroyer staying alive means, honestly, a ton of trouble. And we're gonna see why in the Necron's turn. Charge phase. Let's do it. Mortarian! Mortarian, Chaos Spawn, and the Bloat Drone have all charged those Scarab Swarms. It does not look good for those little buggers. All right, if that doesn't kill the Scarabs, I've got big problems. <laughs> Chaos Spawns. <laughs> Ah, uh, they're gonna eat you up good. Chaos spawn kill one base. Bloat drone kills one base. And Mortarian does the rest. As predicted, all of the scarabs are super dead. I'm getting rid of uh, deploy teleport homer because he knows I have it. If it was secret, I would keep it, but he can easily box me out of his zone. The score is 10 for the Necrons and boom, zero for the Death Guard. This is actually a big, it's a good start for Michael, but this can change really quickly in the Tempest of War. So I started turn two, I have a very high list of what I need to take out in Tycho's list. Those drones with the mowers, those are public enemy number one, especially with my very expensive warrior blobs, those things have got to die. The Necrons are on two objectives, scoring them five points each, taking him to a good lead with 20 points to zero. Michael pulls three secondaries as he starts with none. No prisoners, storm hostile objective, and aerial denial. Aerial denial will be incredibly hard with Mortarian and a Plague Burst Crawler in the center of the table. So Michael spends a command point on new orders and discards it. The new secondary he pulls is overwhelming firepower. Michael needs to kill three units with ranged attacks to score this one. Storm hostile objective, Michael needs to take objectives away from the Death Guard. And no prisoners, Michael needs to kill 30 models. Technomancer is going to resurrect one of his fallen uh, low cursed heavy destroyers. Three. And then I get D3 for three, so he heals back. If I'd only done one more wound. <laughs> Um, okay, let's start off with this. Ghost Ark is going to put his shots into this fella over here. The um, You are in rapid fire range because my extra three inches gets the job done perfectly. Nice. Right, oh, I think it's still take a wound. There you go. Down to five. Let's into your um, these fellas. 
The Tomb Blades take out seven Poxwalkers, and so begins the No Prisoners Tower. Um, Chronomaster is going to put his shots into the Bloat Drone. Long save. So five goes to four damage. One remaining. Now we've got about five guys here that are in range of this guy. The remaining warriors are going to fire into more here. Don't let anybody tell you three inches doesn't get I'm going to get down. defeated by three whole inches. These are the ones going into here. Oh, he makes them both. Make them both. Okay, well, the other 15 guys are putting their shots into Mortarian. Right. Mortarian takes no wounds from the warriors. He shrugs the only one that got through. This is gnarly, Mortarian. Damn. Two heavy locust destroyers. <laughs> they put their two shots into the fetid bloat drone, I'm guessing. Not wanting to take a chance, Michael uses techno-oracular targeting to convert his one hit to an auto I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Ah! 83 damage. Turns One, into two. two. three, four, five. Time to four. Four damage. Time for a Watson. Big cannon goes directly into that fetid blow drone and small arms into the chaos spawn. Um, how many shots from the big gun? How many shots? Into three. Hope you do. Hitting on threes. threes. Make it, of course. <laughs> Watson didn't do anything but one wound on those spots. Wow. Um, okay, well, let's put them in here. Uh, both menus are gonna have to go into here. Okay. And the Silent King will put all of his shots into your spawn. So, men here is two shots. Uh, flat six. That kills me one kill point. Grind them down is impossible now, so I have to discard it. Two. No save for me. Nine more shots, that's what I was doing over here, into the same spawn. And I make another. Uh, one damage piece. Pop another spawn. Right, pop another spawn. Okay, it's come down to it. Now I have to decide what I really need dead. Pretty much all of the shots I poured into Mortarian so far have completely bounced. So you know what? I have to take that out of my mind. I gotta focus fire down all the little things because that's how he's gonna score points. I think in this instance, as much as it irks me to do it, I'm gonna try killing your spawn and this guy. Warriors are split firing. We call this in the business pulling a nick. 10 into the chaos spawn and 10 into the drone. Michael uses a stratagem disintegration capacitors so that every hit roll of a six automatically wounds. Okay, so the spawn is gone. So I take three wounds. With the chaos spawn dead, that is another tally for overwhelming firepower for two, but he needs one more. So let's go to charges. Yep. The Scorpec destroyers have three attacks each and the guy in the back will have four. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. The Scorpec Destroyers take out the Greater Blight drone and it explodes for one mortal wound. Necron sit comfortably in the lead with 25 over the Death Guard's five, but they are nowhere near safe. I'm not getting as much damage as I need to right now. I'm really kind of sweating it a little bit because there seems to be a lot of angry, smelly things descending on me and it's not my uh, happy place, let me just say that. The Death Guard are on two objectives for 10 points, which brings them to a grand total of 15 victory points. Tygo pulls Blood and Guts, Assassination, and Overwhelming Firepower. Blood and Guts requires Tycho to kill three units in melee to score five points. With Assassination, he needs to kill a character this turn. And before going into the movement, Tycho also uses the stratagem, the Dead Walk Again. And four Poxwalkers return to the field. A really interesting movement phase as Tycho has moved off of two objectives. With this mission, he, I mean, he still controls the one objective left behind by the Poxwalkers. He does land his Death Shroud on that center objective. Uh, Mortarian is going to try on his shiny, please don't hit me hat. I tend to forget very easily when I have a buff or I don't. 
so I have to put it somewhere very visible. So I find something that I can put on top of him, and he's got a spike up there, so a little ring or something makes a little hat, so I say if he's got his hat or not. I, I, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Tego successfully turns on Miasma of Pestilence, but Michael is quick to use the stratagem Empiric Dampening to try and deny it on a four plus. Nope, Ooh. that's a one, you get it. He gets a shiny hat. Yay. And he'll smite the side of face. Okay. Smite! I beat it with a seven. You did. And smiting warriors with the prince. Three. His three years. Let's do wounded plague burst crawler, hitting okay. on fours, everything into your destroyers. Okay, Locust heavy destroyers. Okay. Boom! Hit on four. Oh, oh, it's four wounds and minus two. All right, here we go. I gotta make one of these to live. One, just one, Thaco, just one. So far, none. Can I make one? No, didn't make one. Oh, got him! Michael manages to save one destroyer with a command reroll, but there are more shots coming. Okay. Yep. He's got one wound for me. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, so let's do the drone in the rear. Okay. Cannon at the uh, remaining destroyer. I will spurt um, warriors. Cannon to the destroyer. Spurt into the warriors. They get up on and fours. They get up on fours. Three drop, and they take these three away. And one guy can one shuffle one. around. Exactly. Everything into the destroyer. Yeah. Cannon. Gotcha. No, up for the Gotcha. Spurt nope. wasted. So, of course, it's my sergeant that's, or my, my put them down wrong. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Oopsie. So I only get 2d6 into the warriors for the gauntlets. One does, one drops. Two drop, one comes up, one does not. I'm going to take you away. I'm going to put them in back where it was. Ow. All right. Plague Burst Crawler goes into the Scorpec Destroyers and Tycho's using Disgusting Force for one command point. Michael immediately uses Whirling Onslaught so that the Scorpec Destroyers are minus one to hit. And the Mortar. Take one, fail one. Three Ace. damage. Okay, so you ace another one. Mortal Wounds on a four up, two down. Yeah. Yes. Two Scorpec Destroyers go down and Michael comes close with reanimation protocols, but neither get back up. And the slugger. Um, so two go through. Let's do charges. I like <laughs> the idea of charges. I, I will start with uh, the front flooded blood drone charging the character. And that character is in trouble as two drones crash into it, but Michael does set to defend and adds one to his hit rolls in the fight phase should the Technomancer survive. And here comes the Kool-Aid Man charge. The glowing bloat warlord trait on Mortarian is really good as it shuts down set to defend and overwatch within a foot of him. This counters Michael's active protocols and just shuts it down. The Death Shroud fail their charge, but the Poxwalkers make it into the Tomb Blades. Mower Drone is gonna charge both the Tomb Blades and the Scorpex. The Scorpex. Okay. Tycho gets greedy and goes for a multi-charge and fails. He spends one command point and tries the reroll. Demon Prince goes first and absolutely wipes the Scorpec Destroyer squad. And I might as well interrupt. I okay. get command points, so might as well see if I can whack Mortarian. With the ability to reduce damage by one and ignore damage on a five up, Mortarian only takes four wounds from the Silent King. Oh, that's brutal. Mortarian says you should have attached a big sickle to your staff. Variety of stabs. Yep. All right. Okay. Poxwalkers. Four up. Oh, you wipe the squad. I got two more Poxwalkers back. Yay. First drone, uh, five attacks on the charge. Okay. Five up. Nope, four wounds, you kill him. And I, I am gonna spend a command point and do reanimation protocols, which happens at the end of the phase. But I do get my assassination. You do get your assassination points. Uh, down to Mortarion. 
It's a one. So you're, you're gonna, your second one's gonna kill my men here. Now your third one, if you roll another one, I have one man here alive. <laughs> Tego wants that minion down, so he uses his last command point to re-roll the damage and destroy it completely. He killed my rocks. Does he come back? Come on, I need this. I need this fella. At the end of the phase, the Technomancer succeeds on his resurrection protocol roll and gets back up. Michael really needed that. Hopefully this works out in the long term. Big turn for Tycho here as he scores Blood and Guts for five points and Assassination for five points. We have a tied game, 25 to 25. Necrons versus Death Guard, tied it up, headed into turn three. Follow me, let's see what's up. Michael predicted this situation well and has Protocol of the Conquering Tyrant ready and primed. This allows Necron units to fall back and still shoot. He scores 10 points for having two objectives. Michael still has no prisoners and overwhelming firepower to score and draws assassination as well. Let's resurrect some warriors. So the Technomancer there can bring back D3 warriors. I get two back. And same idea, D3 warriors. D3. Silent King falls back and watching Michael move, you realize just how many bodies and guns he still has on the table. Okay, let's do shooting phase. Ghost Ark can put into your box walkers. Ghost Ark fires into the box walkers and removes six of them. Let's put the silent team shots into the unit press. Okay. For two, two damage piece goes down to one. Chronomancer fires the Entropic Lance into the Demon Prince as well, but fails to wound. Oh, Michael. And let's do the Warriors. So the Warriors are gonna have to go, I really, I hate that I have to, but I think I gotta put everything into the Demon Prince. Oh, he did it. I did it. Oh, I have no rerolls. I did it. Ah! <laughs> Uh, Three I don't inches blow. made no difference. <laughs> <laughs> this net Michael's not only assassination, but the last tally on overwhelming firepower. Great job, man. These warriors over here, yeah, all of their shots are gonna go into this guy. That's the non-wounded? The non-wounded non -wounded one, yes. Michael uses disintegration capacitors again. Down a two. Two wounds remaining. Um, okay, Watson. Watson's gonna have to put his shots into these to end them. We're gonna put the 20 glare array shots into the further one, and then the big gun into the one with six wounds remaining. So play. Okay. I fail them all! <laughs> Down he goes! Do I blow up? I do! Uh, oh. You lose a warrior. Okay, Watson, big shot, how many? Watson! Watson. Oh, I want to be okay. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh! The warriors charge the drone and want to get as far away from the Death Shroud Terminators as possible. It's like those Terminators have done bad things to Necrons in the past. Terminators! Oh, look at that! And yeah, with an 11, look at oh, that look charge. <laughs> oh, I take two. two. Take two. Down to four on the Kligra, and I will fight you back. That four plus resurrection protocol is nice and only one warrior is taken off the battlefield. Necron aggression pays off and Michael scores five points for assassination and five points for overwhelming firepower. Great turn. Death Guard turn three is up next. With 15 points for primary for holding one, holding two and holding more, the Death Guard score runs up to 40 and Tycho is still working on overwhelming firepower and just needs one more kill and draws bring it down and attempting target. For bring it down, Tycho scores five points for destroying the model with the highest wound characteristic, which is the Silent King. Bad news for the King. Michael elects the one objective Tycho does not hold for attempting target. He didn't really have a lot of options here. What a game! All right! <laughs> the Silent King denies Tycho's miasma of pestilence, but then gets smited for his troubles. Okay. What is Hill, fire, slugger, and warriors. Okay. 
and everything else into watts. Okay. Actually, you're fine. Right. Entropy cannons and the mortar into the king and the slug into the king. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so into the warriors. Nope, one drop. Uh, four and five. Mortar. Seven. Four up. Make one. He's down to six. Uh, shooting into combat. Thank you. Uh, the spurt. Okay, two drop. Oh. Nope. Three more drop. Five are reanimating. So two drop. Three come back. My plague burst crawler charges your warriors. Okay. Let's do, let's do some flesh mowing. The Chronomancer goes down to the drone and Michael uses one command point for resurrection protocols. So hopefully, hopefully, it gets back up at the end of the phase. Plague Burst Crawlers have four attacks apiece. Okay. Beep. I'm down to Poxwalkers on the charge. Oh. Oh. Not good. Do you want to do Mortarian? Sure. Mortarian absolutely destroys the Silent King. The Silent King goes boom, baby, and does six wounds to Mortarian, but he even shrugs a couple here. This is crazy. The warriors fail to kill the drone. The Chronomancer does make the Resurrection Protocol roll and luckily returns to the battlefield. It does have the Veil of Darkness and provides the Necrons with a whole other trick up their sleeves. Tycho scores five points to bring it down and five points for attempting target, but does miss overwhelming firepower for a second turn in a row. With only one objective, the Necrons score five for primary and draw two secondary missions. Michael draws raise banner and extend battle lines. His current no prisoners tally is at 19, so he needs 11 more kills to score it. With extend battle lines, he must control his home objective and an objective in no man's land. With raise banner, he must plant a banner on an objective in no man's land. So start of my turn, things are kind of looking a little grim. I just have to concentrate on the mission, score points. That's how you win this game, it's score points. At the end of the phase, the Chronomancer uses the relic Veil of Darkness to teleport himself and the warriors in front of him. Let's go to the shooting phase. I gotta kill these Poxwalkers. I gotta get them down to a man. <laughs> Survive! Poxwalkers evaporate. Watson is going to put all of his things, all the things into Martarian. All right, you've got a I've total got... of 11 wounds to get through. Okay. All, all the, the threes. threes. All, all the threes. threes. All the threes. Six. Nope. Oh, it's a six, oh, too! No. Oh, no. that was a no. six! Okay, I want again. you to keep it! Try again, try again, try again. I want you to keep it! No, we're gonna try it with a command point. Okay. See if I get it with a command point, it'd be epic. No, again! Yes! Ah! Six! The clean six the on the clean. re roll! That's totally fine. He's gonna be. Oh no. Taking the one into a two. Whoa. Into a two! So three get through. Oh, Ooh. Four, that's enough. All right, let's see what I can ignore. Oh no. <laughs> so right. I'm alive with four wounds. I'm heavily bracketed. I'm not doing very well, and you are still shooting. Mortarian stands up to Watson, but with only two wounds left. Pretty phenomenal from the legendary Doomsday Arc, Watson. Now I punch him, hopefully, to death. Five. Right. Down with the Blight Drone! Michael scores extend battle lines and no prisoners for 10 points, bringing him to 60 points total over the Death Guard's 50. Let's see how the Death Guard respond. Tycho scores 10 on primary by continuing to hold two objectives. For secondaries, Tycho pulls extend battle lines and storm hostile objectives. Tycho moves everything around to try and maximize shots and charges, but I wonder if any of those tanks should have pressed a little harder towards the objective markers. All right, spurting at your warriors. Four drop. And two more come back. Hooray! 
That is one more turn of not killing anything in the shooting phase, and overwhelming firepower eludes Tycho yet again. Charging of the boat drone. Okay. Tycho lands all his charges, and this could spell the end of the Necrons. Uh, all right, where are we going first? Uh, Mortarian. Okay. Mortarian first, and he whiffs! Oh, he whiffs! The quantum shielding saves Watson, the doomsday arc that can only take six damage. Watson has eight wounds remaining and is going to slay Mortarian. Blood drone! Come on, Ark. Uh, you're waiting on fours. Come on. The ghost arc lives with two wounds. The warriors, totally wiped out by the Terminators. As the Necrons are all objectives secured, the ghost art staying alive is actually a huge deal. Tygo pushes hard, but scored none of his secondaries. The score remains tied, and there is one more turn left in the game. This is really anybody's game, anyone's, even mine. Necrons score big and max on their primary with hold one, hold two, and hold more for 15 points. Michael pulls three new secondaries, bring it down, deploy teleport Hormer, and secure No Man's Land. The Chronomancer flies away to do the teleport Hormer action in Tycho's zone. And the other Necron character, the Technomancer, advances onto the objective to grab secure No Man's Land. 15 shots, so 30 shots total going into your Plague Burst Cannon. Five. Seconds. Oh, take a wound. Make one wound. Okay, no problem. That's nothing. Uh, 20 shots from Watson into Mortarian. These are going to be hitting on fours because I'm firing into close combat. Oh, you got it. Reanimator is going to charge Mortarian. I'm hitting you on fours. No, Tycho! Not like this! There's only one fight. Watson! Mortarian goes into Watson and does 10 damage, but he survives with two wounds remaining. Watson, what a legend. Mortarian survives and denies Michael five points. He does though, score his teleport homer and secure No Man's Land with some savvy movement for 10 points. There is no surrender in Tycho and we press forward. He draws hold the line and defend the stronghold. He spends his newly gained command point to discard one secondary and he pulls area denial. This is one he can definitely score. He will need to max secondaries here in order to tie the game. What I can do is uh, spurt all over this silly Technomancer. Uh, uh, I think I'm dead. Pistol okay. trying to take out the reanimator. It's the Lantern takes out the Reanimator. The Plague Burst Crawler takes out the Ghost Arc. And the Necrons are dropping like flies, but Tycho, Tycho needs objectives. Mortarian needs to drop Watson. Come on, Mortarian. <laughs> Fail him. And before he goes, I think I can take Mortarian out with the explosion of Watson. Don't tell Tycho. Don't tell Watson. Got one CP <laughs> I've held through spick and span. What does it mean? Watson's gonna auto explode everyone. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I think that that does it as the gas has run out for the Death Guard. What an absolutely great game. Michael gets a perfect score of 100 and made some incredible clutch plays in a game that looked like it was getting away from him. The game MVP must be Watson, a fickle hero that went down in a blaze of glory, taking the Primarch with him. Thank you for watching this epic battle between two incredible generals. We would also like to thank this episode's sponsor, GameMat.eu. Pre-painted terrain means that we are ready to go right out of the box and creating immersive and fun tabletop experiences. We love their mats, we love their terrain, and if you want to create battlefields just like ours, check out GameMat.eu and take a look at their awesome catalog. If you like what you saw, please like the video. This helps us determine what works best and what we should do more of. 
please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that the next time we release a battle, you will know right away. And if you want more content like narrative battles or just to talk to amazing like-minded gamers and hobbyists, please consider joining our Patreon community. We really appreciate you watching this game and until we see you next time in the far-flung future of this grim, dark universe, play on. And I did prove three inches gets the job done. <laughs> Death, destruction, kill, burn, destroy. Thank you to Tycho. He was a fantastic sport and gentleman, and I very much appreciated playing him. I can't wait to do it for a round.